welcome back to Questions and Answers here on Our Walk in Christ, and it is becoming a nice day, so I think I'm going to use this as the basic place to record the questions and answers that we do. Uh, so you can ask your own questions at ourwalkinchrist.com forward slash question. So what we're going to ask today is, what is your difference between the Protestant and the Catholic faith? This is one I've gotten a couple of times, and uh, I like the question, and so let's go ahead and, and address this. Now, first and foremost, there is no simple answer to this. There's a lot of different differences, a lot of nuances. I'm going to focus on one and exclusively one major, and what I think the fundamentally most important difference between the two ties into salvation. Um, there are a lot of other differences. Again, we are only going to focus on the points of salvation. So what does a Protestant Christian believe about salvation versus a Catholic agree about salvation? So salvation itself, of course, is the process by which you're saved. And in the Protestant faith, we are saved by grace through faith, okay? Or is it by faith through grace? You know, <laughs> it is, uh, we are saved by grace through faith. And so what that means is that as we are saved, there is nothing we bring to the table except our faith. And it is the grace, which is defined as unmerited favor, is what saves us. Now, when we become saved, okay, uh, we have the faith, we are given the grace, the result, the fruit of the salvation is good works. Ephesians 2.10, we are God's workmanship created unto good works in which he prepared in advance for us to do. Okay, so that is the Protestant view of salvation. By grace, through faith, and grace plus faith equals works. In the Catholic view of salvation, <clears throat> works becomes a requirement of salvation. So you have, you have works and faith equals justification. So justification is that point. Justification occurs in the Protestant by faith and grace. And in the Catholic Church, justification also requires the element of works. And it's, uh, so it basically produces a works-based salvation. Now, they don't go around and say you have to do X, Y, or Z, or do they? Because the Catholic Church has seven sacraments versus the Protestant Church's two sacraments. And I can't rattle off all seven of the Catholic ones, but Protestant sacraments are baptism, which is a one-time event, and um, the Lord's Table or Communion, Lord's Supper, whatever you would call it, which is, you know, whatever frequency your church does it. I've been to churches that do it every single week. I've been to churches that do it uh, once a quarter. And so these things do not add to your salvation. They are an outward sign of your salvation. But in the Catholic tradition, you have to live out a life engaging in these sacraments in order to ultimately be saved. Salvation, in other words, is not a point in time when you are justified before God. It is something that is declared upon you. And really only your highest level saints with verified miracles get straight to heaven. The rest of them in the Catholic tradition would go to purgatory, which is found in the book of Maccabees, but it is not a biblical book as um, as defined by what our canon happens to be. And we're not going to discuss what the canon is here. Maybe we can do that in another video. But in the Catholic faith, you have uh, some of the sacraments include the, the communion, uh, which they believe in what is called transubstitution. So when you take it, it becomes the body and the blood of Jesus in you versus in the Protestant faith, it is a symbolic. Um, they have baptism. One who cannot be baptized cannot go to heaven, allegedly. There's a few little odds and ends exceptions, but for the most part, that is part of the sacraments. Uh, they actually have the sacrament of marriage. Um, of course, what about your priests? Well, the priests are married to the church. That's why a priest wears a wedding ring. Uh, they engage in that sacrament of marriage and marrying the church. Um, there is, I think there is a there might be a pilgrimage. I don't remember if that's one of the sacraments, but their um, confession is one of their sacraments. You have to go out and confess your sins to a priest. And so you have to live a life in the Catholic faith with all of these different rules and regulations added on to you in order to become saved in the Catholic tradition. So that's kind of where we're looking at. So really, ultimately, you're 
primary differences as it portrays in salvation is that in the Catholic Church you have to do a series of things of which case you then will become saved. So your faith and your good works equals justification versus faith and grace justification in the Protestant view. So that is your primary difference between the Protestant view and the Catholic view uh, in regards to uh, salvation and those differences. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, I realize there's a lot more differences between that. Uh, we don't want to get into a big old discussion and debate about all those different things necessarily. This is just a question somebody asked and I want to tackle it only from that viewpoint of salvation. There are a lot of other differences. There's a lot of things that can be said either way. But let me know your thoughts and comments on that in the description down below. You can ask your questions at rwalkinchrist.com forward slash ask. And don't forget to take a look at the links in the description down below.